All right, guys, uh, today I'm finally going to be doing the tour of my 46 inch box. If you guys haven't checked out my first video of the 26 inch box right here that I did a tour of, go check that out. I had quite a few requests for the Yukon box, so um, enough that I thought it was worth doing this. Sorry it took so long, uh, been pretty busy, but going to go ahead and do a tour of this one here. And just wanted to give a quick thanks to everybody who watched my previous video and liked it and commented and subscribed. It means a lot to me, so really appreciate it. So let's go into the 26 inch box. This is a Yukon box. Um, yes, it is a Yukon box. It doesn't have the badge. I debadged it. Thought it looked a little bit cleaner. This work surface is really, really nice. And it's held up beautifully. Like I had this box for almost a year now and I have abused it and it looks brand new. I mean, you can't even really tell that I've really used it except for except for a few minor scratches and dings and that's to be expected. Uh, let's go into the first drawer here. I mainly just keep my power tools in here. So this is my power, t most of my power tools, not all of them, but a lot of them and this is where I keep them. So they're readily accessible and it's convenient to have them here on this top drawer. Um, got a bunch of drill bits and drive, uh, you know, just a bunch of Milwaukee drill bits and stuff. Got my drill impact and my Milwaukee M12 screwdriver. This is a really great tool. Highly recommend it for those situations where you don't always need a whole lot of torque, especially if you're doing like DAS work and stuff like that. Uh, you're not going to need the power and the torque of the of a regular drill. Uh, this is comes in really handy. Um, got a work light. Have uh, some ear protection here. Some eye protection. The anti-fog safety glasses by Milwaukee. Highly recommend these. These are awesome. Got some gloves here. Got my 3 8 ratchet that I think I had in my last video. Have a auto lock tape measure by Milwaukee as well. This thing is super convenient, especially if you're measuring things by yourself. Don't need an individual on the other end of the, of the tape to measure things. So it's really nice. Got my half inch breaker bar here from Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight. This thing is awesome. I like to use, uh, use it a lot to break lug nuts and stuff like that. Got a few levels here. So that's pretty much it for the top drawer. Nice and simple, uh, convenient and practical. Going into the second drawer here. This is where I keep my hammers, my adjustable wrenches, adjustable pliers, cutters, all that good stuff. Um, got my Leatherman Freestyle. I absolutely love this knife. Has a nice new nose and a blade. We all it has. Don't need um, anything else, so that's really handy. Got um, these scissors right here are from Harbor Freight. They're super handy i really enjoy these they're super sharp and i like that they're spring assisted so it's a lot easier when you're cutting things that you don't have to have your fingers in the loop of the scissors to open them so that's really handy just recently picked up these icon cutters um these i've actually kind of got a lot of hate on the internet but for me to be honest these have been great just for what i do and i just mainly use these to cut zip ties as a matter of fact, I only use these to cut zip ties, and they get they do a really great job of that. So no complaints there. I recommend them. So going over here to this next drawer, this is where I keep, um, you know, a lot of wood screws, my stud finder, some old Craftsman screwdrivers here, uh, per uh, micro screwdriver or precision screwdriver kit here a ratcheting bit driver some tape all my markers and pencils and stuff like that utility knives going over here i have a bunch of just miscellaneous electric uh electric stuff so i got a bunch of various chargers batteries quick connects when i'm doing like electrical work on my my vehicles if i'm I really just used those when I did the LED headlights on the Mustang and stuff. Uh, little rotary tool that's pretty loud. <laughs> I really don't use that a whole lot. And this one, I keep a lot of my pressure washer tools and air tools. and Well, not air tools, but uh, the Teflon tape and things that I use like for pressure washers and my pneumatic stuff. So... 
a few attachments here. This is actually a socket holder that I adopted to hold all my fittings and it worked out pretty well. Have like some uh, pressure washer nozzles and stuff like that. Keeps them nice and organized and keeps them from rolling around in the drawer. Got the Merlin presser gauge and tire fill gadget here. Really nice, got it on sale. One thing that I did do, um, I did modify this a bit. It comes with this uh, attachment here. And this is really a pain in the butt when you're filling tires because you gotta put pressure on the valve stem constantly in order to read the PSI and fill the tire. So really a pain when you're you know bent over and trying to operate this. So I just got a locking attachment here. So this locks around the valve stem. Easy modification that makes it a whole lot easier to use. So highly recommend that. Going into this drawer, I do a lot of auto detailing. I do it on the weekends as a side job and you know, this is a hobby on my own vehicles. So really enjoy it. So this is what I use for this drawer is this for my steamer. I have a bunch of attachments. Again, I got the socket holder here uh, to organize all my different attachments. Got some wire brushes here and uh, a few decal applicator tools stuff like that over here again more detailing oriented stuff all my attachments for my vacuums my lily brush that's really handy for removing dog hair and stuff like that my metro vac bags so all that vacuum attachment stuff is in this drawer going into the bottom drawers uh one thing to note here on the yukon that's good about the box is it does have um, double sliders on the side, so you could put quite a bit of weight on these bottom drawers, which is one of the things that um, is good about this box compared to the Husky boxes. I think uh, these hold a whole lot more weight than the Husky boxes, about at least 50 pounds more. Got the kneeler, got to have that kneeling pad, saves your knees. I have my old Craftsman 108-piece set. That I take in my vehicles. Um, it's a great set. Had it since I was in high school. This is my Vacuum Blow 500. Uh, this is a great little unit. If you guys haven't checked out my video on that, go check it out. It's a cool little vacuum. Did a nice little review on that thing. So go check that video out. Over here, I have my Milwaukee Orbicle Sander. This is really nice. Got an extra charger here and my multi tool which I was also using as a detail sander. Uh, have the warrior cutter that I was gonna do a review on. Haven't had a chance to post it, but it's a really handy tool. I mainly just use it for cutting cardboard and uh, for cutting like the plastic packaging and a lot of stuff that you get nowadays. Does a great job of that. Cuts nice and straight. And as long as you use it for stuff it's intended for, it does a decent job. If you use it for anything that's a little bit more thick or uh, a little bit tougher than what it's intended for, it's not gonna do that great of a job. And got the Warrior heat gun on sale the other day for like nine bucks and I've used it I think three times and it's done the job. For as often as I use a heat gun, it's been great, so. But there you go guys. Um, there is my tour of my Yukon 46 inch box. I got plans, um, I got a friend that's interested in both of these, so I might be selling them and picking up something better. Let me know in the comments down below if I should go with the larger US General box or if I should go with one of the Husky boxes or if you guys have any other recommendations for a solid box under a thousand bucks or a thousand dollars and under. Let me know in the comments down below guys, um, but yeah, thanks for tuning into today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe.